reach. Oh, to be like you. Your temper flares up the smallest offense. Snatch our guards and mangle our fence. You nest in our love spring down one wall. If you're passing through, pay attention. I'll say this once. <clears throat> Pilgrims who ignore my warning vanish from the roads by morning. Whether you're from near or far, best keep your arse at Molag Mar. I find it best to put official notice in verse. Helps people remember and reminds them buoyant arbiters aren't ordinators. Nobody wants to talk to them, even other ordinators. Now, if I could get someone to tell me who's attacking these pilgrims, if you're offering. I suspect Ashlanders are behind the disappearances, but I don't have the numbers to chase them off. If you can sneak into their camp near Molag Mar and find me proof of their involvement, I could finally get some reinforcements. Avoid killing the Ashlanders unless they give you no choice. I don't need you starting a blood feud with my forces split. Now. I must be off to hold the heroic line at a deeply fishy mine. Such is the life of a buoyant armager. As a rule, they don't like us. So when our people start disappearing, not long after an Ashlander tribe set up camp near Molag Mar, I wager it's more than a coincidence. Just a dreg infestation. We have them contained. They're an untimely distraction, but nothing we can't handle. Once the dreg finish mating, we'll clear them out while they're still sluggish. Shouldn't be more than a week. The Vex finest, fleet and fit, besting heretic by sword, an ordinator by wit. Sworn to live a life of noble grace, except to laugh in danger's face. And sometimes we quammer wrangle groups of pilgrims. Warrior poets are quite versatile. set upon by terrible monsters that came out of nowhere and now roam the wilderness outside town. We're doing our part to help. We're serving daily specials until the crisis has been averted. Magistrate's box nearly destroyed so poor. Just because the people refused to bow down to them. Miners haven't been able to work for days, and no work means no pay. And do you know what that means? No customers. Well, except for you. Welcome. Welcome.
Mutiny Act, you have much to answer for. Is this why you sneak through our camp? To desecrate our sacred rites? Do the slaves of the false gods fear us so much they won't even face us themselves? Why are you here, Outlander? Answer truthfully and I may only hobble you. Always they blame us for their ills. If they seek our deaths, they should just come for them. These ploys and ambushes are the acts of cowards! Four have vanished since we arrived to find your armagers building their garish shrine over our ancestral lands. I suspect they were made prisoners of the false gods. You deny it? Those who worship the three are devious, but if it's true that they do not seek our destruction, I will not invite it. What will make them leave us be? Your pilgrims are not here. They litter the wild with their weakness. A beast's meal, nothing more. See for yourself. You will find what's left of their camps here, where I have marked your map. I will seek my own answers. When you have seen what I have seen, meet me at the Helan Ancestral Tomb. My kin remain missing. I will find them regardless of whether you speak truth or lies. The burial ground has been disturbed recently. Once you see that we are innocent, we will learn if the truth lies with the dead.
You have investigated the camps. Do you still believe we are to blame? Work of carrion animals, I thought. Now I'm not so sure. When I found the bloody tracks leading to this tomb, I heard wailing within. If one of your pilgrims disturbed the ancestor spirits, perhaps it is their wrath we have witnessed. I will not invade an ancestor tomb. No Ashlander would be welcome in such a place. They are as unclean and treacherous as the three. You may test if the trespass of Outlander feet is of less offense, but I will remain here. Don't hurt me, please! You weren't followed, were you? The ruddy man hunts us. It lives again. It attacked our camp last night, tore poor Ilva's head off, right in front of me. I ran as fast as I could, and I hid in here. The spawn of Vivek and Molag Baal? The dread hunter wearing the ancient carapace? Have you read nothing of the sermons? It devoured all it saw until Vivek cast it down, twice over. But it lives again. You have to believe me. I... no. When I saw it, I ran and never looked back. Wait. It lunged from the rocks above. The glass mine! We were near the glass mine when it descended on us. Watch for traps. I hoped they'd kill it, not us. Never see the sky again. Thank the three. Thank you. Ah, oh, an Ashlander. Run, friend. I'm sorry. I just want to go home. In hindsight, the wailing was too pathetic to have been the angry dead. What did your sniveling pilgrim have to say for himself? Only a fool would believe that. The mad gibberings of a scared scrib. We cannot go chasing myths. Did the weakling provide us nothing of value? What you call glass mine, we know as an ancient dreg spawning grounds. The slaves of the false gods have disturbed these beasts. Now we all pay the price. Then we will see where this path takes us. The tracks that brought me here will surely lead us to our quarry. The glass mine is not far. Lead on. There are 
are many tracks here. Look, above. Why does it hesitate? Do we scare you, ruddy man? It flees. It wants no part of prey that can wound it. Was that the creature the pilgrims fear? This ruddy man of legend? It is skulking vermin inflated by the lies of a false god. Nothing more. Drag are not usually cunning. This much is true. Now that it knows we hunt it, this creature may wait us out in its lair. They will not trust the word of an Ashlander, and we know the creature easily eludes them. You must hunt it. You must kill it. Who else, Outlander? The slaves of the false gods will never allow me to trespass their domain, and the task is beyond them. This falls to you, or no one. If this creature is of the dreg, it may share their weaknesses. I will consult our wise women. They may know something that will aid you in this hunt. Convince the pawns of the three of what you have found. I will meet you at the mine's entrance. It is an invention of the three, a fable of great deeds to serve the vanity of a false god. To see it is to know they speak no truths. I was beginning to think the Ashlanders got you as well. Were you able to find evidence that they've been preying on the pilgrims? I can't spare a moment from these dreg as it is. Is that your idea of a sick joke? We have more sense of humor than the Ordinators, Outlander, but blasphemy is a line you best not cross. The ruddy man is an evil dealt with long ago by Vivek himself. Where did you even get such an idea? One of... Gods! That's a smell for the ages. So this is what became of Sidra. I hope she gave a good account of herself. Suppose I entertain this theory. What am I supposed to tell the temple? Send Lord Vivek? Then understand this. Whatever you find down there, it isn't the ruddy man. Vivek killed the ruddy man. There are still miners unaccounted for. Do what you can for anyone still alive down there. Vivek guide you to great glories. What now? An Ashlander? Keep your distance, understand? Peace, Armagers. I must speak with the Outlander. That is all. If you wish to hear him out, I'll permit it. But don't let your guard down. The wise women cannot say if your quarry is what you think, but they have shared their knowledge of dreg with me. They are for a mixture to lure the creature out. Spill this in the ruddy man's den, and it will show itself. It works on the dreg. That is all I can say. Be wary in its lair. If that thing took my kin, then it is more dangerous than it leads on. You have proven yourself capable for an outlander. Avenge our lost warriors. Trust the wise women's mixture. Dreg crave a dark, dank place from which to snatch unsuspecting prey. Drive them from this safety, and they are no danger to skilled warriors.